Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we are traveling to the big house to take on the Michigan Wolverines and they have a true freshman quarterback, John Carty, a left-handed gunslinger starting. They also have a young running back starting due to the injury to their starting running back, Jesse Johnson, who was a junior, so sophomore Mark Dixon will get the start. Sean Kerr will also get carries in this ball game. They have a great free safety, Ernest Shazer, 95 overall redshirt senior. He is 6'4", 219. He is just a mountain of a man, and his backup isn't too bad either. Jeremy James Jr. safety, 86 overall, 6'1", 199. And at strong safety, they got Curtis Yang, another great safety, 88 overall, another junior, 6'2", 213. But they do have a 58 overall kicker. Todd Joseph, first play of the game on offense. Tremaine Young with the screen catch. And that is a first down pickup to about the 37 yard line. So the triple option Bulldogs coming out throwing the ball to start the game. And here's Tremaine Young on an option play. And he'll pick up another first down down to the 41 yard line of the Wolverines. Second and six. Kenny Harding up the gut and the true freshman stud fullback. Picks up the first down. First and 10. Joseph options right side. Bryson Davis with some space in front of him. He'll get up to the 25 yard line. A decent carry for Bryson, the senior halfback. Joseph looking to throw it. And he's going to scramble left side. Throw it to Jose Jefferson, who's wide open coming across the field. And he'll take it up to the 11 yard line. Bulldogs now in the red zone looking to get on the board. Third and 15, however. Joseph's going to throw it to walk on sophomore receiver Lee Brown, and he can't come up with it. The Bulldogs will have to send on Mike Randall for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Bulldogs take a 3-0 lead after a 12-play, 57-yard drive. Third and 10 for the freshman quarterback, and he's going to throw it deep, and it is caught by Massaqua in between George Tyler and Brandon Downing. First and 10, that was a 37 yard pickup. Cardi's gonna option right side, and he is very fast. Pitches it back to Kerr, who's got the first down up to the Bulldogs 34 yard line. Michigan putting together a nice drive. And here's Kerr, left side, gets the first down and more. About a 13 or 14 yard pickup. Kerr has 73 yards on 14 carries this season. Third and seven, Cardi by himself. Gonna throw it, and he overthrows his intended target, who was open. The Wolverines will have to settle for a field goal attempt. The kick is up and not even close. Kickers matter, folks. 58 overall is not going to get it done at the kicker position. Joseph options left side. Bryson Davis running through a couple defenders. Picks up nine yards up to the 29-yard line. And that will end the first quarter. A very fast first quarter. A lot of runs to run the clock down. And Davis will pick up a first down right up the gut. Davis in motion left side. Joseph will option that way and get to the 40-yard line. A couple yards shy of the first down. Joseph doing his best to fill in the empty place of Ken Topps. He's not doing so bad so far this year. 2-0 and are the Bulldogs. And here's Joseph looking to throw. Scrambling left side. Nobody's there, and he gets dropped for the sack. Taylor, the right outside linebacker, coming up to make the sack. Brian Martin on for the punt, and he'll kick it from his own 35-yard line, and that'll bounce inside the 10, out of bounds at the 6-yard line. Great kick by Brian Martin. Cardi pitching out to Kerr, and he gets 8 yards before getting taken down by Donnie Kramer, who had a heck of a season last year, picking off 5 passes. And here's Kerr getting the counter, and he is dropped Markel McKinley. Senior defensive end coming up to make the stop. Wolverines would punt the ball. Second and nine for Joseph. He pump fakes and scrambles up the middle. And he'll get eight yards very close to the first down yard line. Joseph has 23 yards on the ground. Third down. Kenny Harding gets caught on his own lineman but does fight forward and pick up the first down. Freshman fullback leads the Bulldogs in rushing this season. Over 200 yards. And Joseph throws it right side. Jose Jefferson catches it for an eight-yard pickup. Nice throw in the face of the defender. 
as Joseph was absolutely crushed as he let go of the ball. Nice job by Jefferson coming back to get open for his quarterback. And Joseph has the first down on the option. That's a six-yard pickup right up the middle. Third and five. Harding in the backfield. Joseph throws left side. He wanted to set up the screen to Orlando Webb, I believe, and it was incomplete. Mike Randall for another field goal attempt. The kick is up and good with 135 to go in the first half. Both offenses really struggling so far to get into the red zone and the end zone as Michigan goes deep and that is caught by Swanson down to the 46 yard line. Michigan trying to get some points on the board before the half is over. And that was a good start to the drive as the freshman quarterback launches it downfield. George Tyler on the tackle. Cardi only throwing the ball four times so far. 71 yards on two completions. And he's got another one this time. And that is to Murphy to the 34-yard line. 103 to go. Kerr gets the counter. Open space in front. Stiff arms a man. Runs another man over. And he has a first down up to the 20-yard line of the Bulldogs. Third and nine for Cardi. Throwing in the end zone. And it is caught by Murphy in between two defenders. Donnie Kramer and George Tyler could not get the ball out of the receiver's hands. And it didn't look like George Tyler turned to look for the ball at all. And he did not. Either did Donnie Kramer. Bad play there by the secondary. But the Bulldogs are not done here. They are going to look to get some points. And Joseph just picked up a giant chunk of yards. And that will get them closer to field goal range. Now at the 43-yard line, here's Joseph. He's going to scramble just evading the defender and slide down at the 41-yard line for another first down. Eight seconds to go. Joseph going right side, caught by Bryson Davis. And they will send on Mike Randall for another field goal attempt this time. It is from 40 yards out. The kick is up, and it is good. So the Bulldogs take the lead back. As time expires in the first half, 9-7 is the score. Number six Bulldogs on top of the Michigan Wolverines in the big house. Teams are very even in total yards. Michigan leads in passing. Bulldogs lead in rushing. And Bulldogs also lead in time of possession. Here's Ernest Shazer with the second half kickoff, and he doesn't get far. And Cardi will come back on offense. And hand the ball off to Kerr on the first play. And he goes nowhere. He fumbles it. And that is recovered by Roman McRae, the starting left end. True freshman scoops up the fumble. His first career fumble recovery. And the Bulldogs are back in scoring position here at the 15-yard line. And right away, that is Orlando Webb on the corner out for the touchdown. His second career receiving touchdown. And that's a big one. Gives the Bulldogs a 16-7 lead, so that is a two-score ball game now. Second and 10, Kerr gets a carry, and Neil Nelson meets him in the backfield for the loss. Nelson having a quiet season so far. He has been the standout linebacker on the Bulldogs the past couple years. And Swanson did not get his feet in bounds on that play, and the Bulldogs will get the ball back. Joseph. Options, he keeps it up the middle. Nice spin move there. Shades of Ken Tops. And he gets a huge chunk and gets another first down. This ground game just eating away at this defense. Really tiring them out. Here's Kenny Harding. He'll pick up five yards right up the middle. He has been very quiet today. I believe he only has 20 yards on the ground. Second and five. Harding again gets a carry. Nice spin move. Taking down one yard shy of the first down. Third and one, Harding again, three straight plays. He fumbles it this time, but Bryson Davis will recover it. Harding, 10 carries, 25 yards. The defense has really zeroed in on him. And it has showed. They have done a really nice job stopping him today, but they have not stopped Todd Joseph or Bryson Davis for that matter. Second and five, Joseph is crushed this time. He goes nowhere, and he has injured his knee on the play. Redshirt freshman Jeff Terry will come in at the quarterback spot, and he's going to take off his first play. Nice juke move. Now inside the 10, breaks a tackle, running through a defender down to the 5-yard line. Very impressive first play from Jeff Terry, trying to fill in the shoes of Todd Joseph. And he will miss four weeks with a knee bruise. 
So Jeff Terry has a few starts ahead of him in his young career. Let's see how he fares. And as Kenny Harding goes right up the gut for the touchdown, what do you guys think of that Todd Joseph injury? How do you think that's going to impact our offense and our team overall in the games to come for this season? Second and ten for the Wolverines. Kerr up the middle. McCray can't bring him down. Kerr will get seven or eight yards. He's got 57 on the ground today on 13 attempts. Third and two. Kerr again, but he is demolished. That is Michael Galar, the senior safety, coming up to make the stop. Wolverines only 61 yards on the ground. Bulldogs over 150, and there's Harding hurdling a defender and getting close to the first down. He's got 221 yards on the ground this season with three touchdowns on 50 carries. Third and three. Terry going to look to throw it here. Scrambles left side instead and reaches but does not pick up the first down. Bulldogs will punt the ball away. Cardi under center goes right side. Nice catch by Johnson up to the 45-yard line. Wolverines need a big-time drive here from their freshman quarterback. Down two scores. Cardi looking to throw it again. Right side. Stewart hurdles the defender inside the 40 down to the 36-yard line of MSU. Great run after the catch by Stewart, a slot receiver. First and 10 for Cardi. Kerr gets a handoff right side, and he'll get up to the 27-yard line. Another great carry from Kerr. He's been really consistent in this game. And he gets another carry, but George Tyler brings him down by the face. And instead of third and two, it is first and 10 now for the Wolverines. Second and 10, Kerr gets the carry. McCray misses on the dive attempt, and Kerr picks up eight more yards. And he's got about 90 on the ground today. Third and one. They give it off to the fullback who's got the first down up to the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Wolverines. Cardi goes left side. Wide open was Massaqua. Another touchdown pass for Cardi. And they needed that one big time. They will go for two. Wolverines are going to get it. Mississippi State was not ready for it. And that was a 10-play, 69-yard touchdown drive. Bryson Davis gets a carry on 2nd and 17 after a holding call. And he gets most of it back. Nice juke move there to get him 3 or 4 extra yards. 3rd and 9. Terry will keep it, and the Bulldogs go consistent here. Play conservative. They did not want to turn the ball over. Wolverines get the ball back at their own 25-yard line, and Kerr picks up nine more yards. He's now got 83 on 18 carries. And give it to him one more time, over 90 yards now on 19 carries. Another first down for the Wolverines. And Cardi had two defender, or two receivers, excuse me, wide open. No defenders in sight on the corner there. Cardi, left side again, deflected, intercepted, Bernard Moreno. He's running to the middle, jukes a man out of his shoe, still going past the 40, he might go. No, he is taken down at the 35-yard line. What an unbelievable run after the interception by Bernard Moreno, his first pick on the season. Terry optioning out right side, they need this first down, third and seven. Davis will get it and gets up to the 11-yard line. The Wolverines are out of timeouts. Less than two minutes to go, and the Bulldogs will run the clock out and escape the big house with the victory. 23-15 is the final score. Michigan drops to 1-1 one one on the season. Bulldogs improve to 3-0, continuing their big win streak after losing to Auburn last season. Another great win in the head coaching career of Ralph Kress. Looking to repeat as national champs this season. If you have not watched the national championship from last season you missed out on one heck of a game one of the best games I've ever seen in my life not a lot of offense in this game both teams under 300 yards but the Bulldogs controlled the clock no turnovers and that was the big difference zero turnovers from the Bulldogs Michigan holds Mississippi State to no points in the fourth but they did not do enough on offense to make the comeback possible Kerr with a great day on the ground, 90 yards on 19 carries. Todd Joseph, 6 of 9, 67 yards, 1 touchdown, no picks. He also had 82 on the ground, and he will be missed 
for the next three or four games. Jeff Terry, redshirt freshman, really needs to fill in those shoes. I can't wait to see how he does in his first career start next week. I don't remember who we play, but we will see that at the end of this video. As we take a look here at the defensive stats, Michael Gallar led the team in tackles with six. Neil Nelson had two tackles for a loss. We had six tackles for a loss as a team. No sacks once again. Bernard Moreno with an interception in his third of his career. Neil Nelson and Ben Sutton with some deflections. Desmond Mikheloff forced the fumble and it was recovered by true freshman Roman McRae. Mike Randall was 3 of 3 today. That was a big difference in the game as well. Brian Martin, 3 punts, 1 inside the 20. Oklahoma beats up North Texas 34 to 18. They are 1 and 0 on the season. It's kind of odd that they've only played one game in four weeks. Florida beats Kansas. Nebraska squeaks out a win against Ole Miss. Marshall beats Syracuse. Texas A&M clobbers Arizona State. Tennessee destroys Indiana. BYU beats Army. BYU is now 3 and 0, ranked 19th nationally. Fresno State, 63 to nothing. They blank Central Michigan. They are also 3-0. LSU beats Rutgers. NC State beats Arkansas State. Colorado beats UCLA. UNLV beats Oregon State. Clemson loses to Washington. Clemson is 0-3. Washington 3-0. Florida State beats Maryland, 41-13. And Georgia Tech beats North Carolina. Miami beats Temple by 36. And Memphis beats Southern Miss by a touchdown. UCF still undefeated 4-0, beating Kent State. Auburn beats Vanderbilt. And Kentucky ends Alabama's perfect season hopes. Alabama now 2-1. Kentucky gets their first win on the season. South Carolina beats Georgia. And an interesting rivalry matchup. Iowa beats Iowa State. And we take on Boston College in Week 5. Nationally televised game. We are number six in the country. Boston College is one and one. I believe they were ranked in the preseason. I will show you guys who they lost to in the next video if you have not seen it yet. I will bring that video to you guys next Saturday. Until then, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys.